Hello, my name is Agathe and this is the tarot reading for April 2016 for the sign of Aquarius. Um, this is a very general reading. If you'd like a private consultation, please send an email to duniazada.gmail.com. I'd be, del be delighted to work with you. Um, below, you can see all my information and all the links. Also, if you subscribe to my newsletter, uh, you can, who knows, win a free tarot reading. And there's a winner every month. All the readings that I do are written by me. There's no software readings. Okay, so uh, Aquarius for April 2016, the, the deck that I'm using is the pictor Pictorial Key Tarot and uh, the significator or the general theme for the month uh, is represented by the Page of Wands, so this you might be getting a message from someone or this also might signify a new project or a new love affair, a new passionate love affair. Uh, in the position of that which is yet not seen, you have the Four of Wands. I, I said Page of Wands, right? I didn't say anything else. Sometimes I, I get it wrong. So this is the Page of Wands. And uh, something which is yet not seen is represented by the Four of Wands. And this message might be connected to a celebration, for instance, for a marriage. Maybe someone, uh, I'm thinking a friend, contacts you and, s and tells you, hey, I'm going uh, I'm gonna get married, so can you uh, come and attend my my, my wedding, or this celebration could be something else, like the, the ba ba uh, maybe your friend is baptizing uh, her child or, or his child, you know, I'm thinking more female friend, so there's a celebration, uh, or and also, because of all the other cards, I'm thinking that maybe in this wedding, in this celebration, you might meet someone uh, who's going to be very important to you in, in romantic terms. You might meet a, a partner here, your future partner here. In the position of the root for the month or the basis for the month, you have the star card. So uh, this speaks of uh, fulfilling a dream, uh, visionary progress, you know, success, happiness. This is your card also, Aquarius. So it's like fulfilling something which you've always wanted. Uh, this also speaks of um, uh, travel because it's connected with uh, with other countries, not the country uh, we where you are right now, but with other countries. So so maybe maybe you'll have to travel. To, to go to this wedding. In the position of the past influencing the present, you have the nine of pentacles. So, so this is why I'm thinking a friend. I think this friend, maybe, maybe she's either she uh, emigrated, she's, she's uh, outside where you live, and she's an independent woman, and she's really um, wealthy. She, I don't know, works for herself, herself and she's really uh, successful, not necessarily working for herself, but it could be that, but she's really successful and maybe she, she, uh, this is the one, this is the woman who con contacts you and tells you, hey, I'm going to get married, uh, would you like to attend my, my, mari my wedding, it could be that. In the position of what you want, you have the two of pentacles. You want to be adaptable, you want to be flexible, uh, you want to see joy in everyday life. You so you want to be you. Uh, yeah, you want to be uh, joyous and you want to be happy and and flexible and uh, have an ability to adapt yourself to every circumstance. Circumstance. In the position of the near future, uh, for April Aquarius, you have the fool. So I'm thinking you're gonna go. You're gonna pick up and you're gonna go. Like yeah, a wedding. America? Totally. Tomorrow? Ah, I'm there. <laughs> so you, uh, uh, you, uh, uh, if, if this is an invitation, you're like ready to go and I'm thinking again abroad. This is what I'm thinking. Oh, it's, uh, let's say you live in London and this is going to be in Paris. Okay, in Paris next week, I'm, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there with you, I'm there for you. So you, you, you go, you pick up and go, you have little baggage as you can see. Uh, lots of self-confidence and no fear, absolutely, absolutely no fear. If this is a relationship which you start, 
you started rather quickly and with lots of self-confidence, with no fear, kind of in a naive sort of way, but you just pick up and go it, with no emotional baggage also. And why do I say this might be a, um, a romantic relationship? Because the card which represents you, Aquarius, is the Ace of Cups. And this is the start of a new love relationship. I think you're going to meet someone in this party. You might meet someone in this party, in this celebration. And I think you might be, like, immediately you fall in love with, with him or her. I'm thinking her, but, you know, not necessarily. So you, you immediately going to fall for this person. Like, you know, love at first sight, that sort of thing. In the position of the others, uh, the, the environment which surrounds you, Aquarius, you have another major arcana card, you have uh, the temperance card. To me, this card is also the guardian angel. It almost seems like or feels like that this was meant to be and this was uh, orchest orchestrated by your guardian angel. Like this is the time for you to meet the future, your future partner uh, and this is the way you're going to meet him or her. And this was kind of deliberate uh, and it's like almost like your guardian angel whispered at your friend's ear and said, Hey, hey, you totally should go and invite, you know, this person. And this person just sent you a message and something quite unexpectedly. Uh, it could be that. I don't know why uh, I think that. Also, the person you fell over heels uh, or fell in love with uh, might be someone who's very modest, who's very self-controlled, uh, who's, uh, who's in harmony with herself or himself, uh, who, who has inner balance, someone who's able to see two sides, not just see two sides of, the, of, a, of a situation or uh, of whatever, but this person is able to reconcile two uh, seemingly very oppo opposite points of view so she's she's like really self-controlled or he is very self-controlled so in, in I think where is you, you wanna like that you're gonna like that type of energy that type of approach to life uh, and very shy person also in a position of fears hopes dreams and uh, advice you have the nine of wands on the nine of rods so you were afraid that you yourself uh, um, protect protect yourself very much and don't open up yourself enough to start this new relationship this is your fear or it could be that you're afraid that she or he doesn't open himself or herself uh, and protects herself or himself way too much and doesn't let you win, you know, on a, an emotional sort of way. Uh, so this is your fear also. Uh, in the position of the outcome, uh, you have the King of Cups. So this might also signify the person that you start a relationship with. Because it's the King, I'm going to read this uh, as a male. So... Uh, because it's cups, it represents someone from a water sign, Scorpio, um, Pisces, or uh, Cancer. Could be someone in his late 30s or after the age of 40. Not necessarily. Could be someone younger. Someone who's very wise. Someone uh, who is in full command of his emotions. Just like this card. Just like the Temperance says. In full command. He, he knows how to... He's in touch with his uh, emotional side, but he can control it totally. Uh, he is very intuitive sort of person. He's connected to his heart. Um, he's a wise man. He, he's a friendly uh, person. He's there for you. Uh, he's always emotionally present. So this is a great friend to have, and this is a great, you know, a guy to have a uh, to to be in a relationship with. Um, uh, oh, so this could be the person that you start a relationship with or if you're a guy and the person uh, with whom 
the, if, if you are interested uh, in a person, it could be a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, you have to adopt the energy of the king of cups in order to have a relationship with this person. So you have to be like present, available. You do, you do not have to be afraid of being put in the friend zone. It's okay. Let be in that place for a while because I would say don't push it, don't rush it, don't um, don't force like immediately a relationship with this person if you're a guy. With this could be man or woman. You know, just be present, be available, be there, be a friend, be a caring friend, and this is the way for you to uh, conquer this man or this woman. Okay? And that's it, Aquarius. This is uh, the reading that I have for you. This is a very happy month for you in April, Aquarius. Aquarius, I would say. If you'd like a private consultation with me, please send an email to duniazada.gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye-bye.